Today we're going to solve a minor, kind of major problem. Uh, Coco had knee surgery. She hasn't been able to uh, look after the dog and, and do some things as I've been gone to work. So we've had her mother over here helping. And uh, her mother is, man, she's been wonderful throughout all this and we love her to death. I don't think she pays quite as much attention to what Cruz might be doing as we would. Oh gosh, she's coming on. So we got this comment from a neighbor that I'm not going to identify and I'm going to block out his contact information. I don't want him to get any kind of bad comments or anything. So um, he's been pooping in the yard, um, he, the neighbor tells me. So, I mean, if, if this has been going on, it has to stop. You shouldn't let your dog use the bathroom in someone else's yard. I know he doesn't do it while I'm watching him. But like I said, Coco hasn't been able to watch him. And I've been going to work a lot. Ain't a buddy. Ain't a buddy. Yeah. So he may be getting over there and doing it. I don't doubt his word. He's a very honest man. And uh, I don't doubt him. So what I'm doing today is I want to fence in a part of our yard. Uh... For Cruz in the backyard. Right now, I don't have enough free money to actually do a. Oh gosh, you couldn't see, but man, he was zooming at me. I don't have the money to do a proper fence all the way around the property. So we're going to do a budget type fence, and I'm walking into the area that we're going to do it. We've got a piece of privacy fence here already. It's down there. So we're going to fence this this part of the backyard, about 150 feet where the fence will do it. And that way, when the mother-in-law is watching, uh, she can just let him out the back door and, and he can be out there. A little bit of training, he should know to stay in. It's only gonna be a five foot tall fence. And I've seen him leap seven foot tall <laughs> fences. So we're gonna see if we can get by with that, maybe train him to stay in there. Crutches, ladder. So at this point, I've got about an hour and a half before I have to get ready for work. Uh, I've just come from my security job and I'm getting ready to go back to my other job. Um, and so I'm going to have to throw this fence up as quick as I can. I want something so tonight uh, while I work my other job, I don't have to worry so much about him. Uh, I don't want to be a hindrance to my neighbors or a problem. So the point uh, that I didn't want to post the video. I wanted to have a conversation with my neighbor and I wanted to talk it out and maybe we could work this out uh, as neighbors and adults and, and friends. And uh, he wouldn't talk to me. All he would say was he didn't want the dog on his property. So we had part of a privacy fence that was here already. We used it uh, as part of our new fence. Now he's gonna have to be trained to stay in this fence because if he wants to, he can get out. Can't you, buddy? Yeah, I've seen him scale much bigger fences than this. So he just needs to be trained that this is where he needs to stay and he has to stay inside this fence. And once he does, I think I can trust him out here uh, without really watching him as closely as I have to uh, in the open yard. So I think a lot of the issue with uh, him needing a fence like this and the other, a lot of the other neighborhoods don't have fences. Most neighborhood dogs don't have any kind of fence or anything. I think the issue is a lot of people are afraid and intimidated by his appearance and his loud bark. It scares them. It would probably scare me too. They don't know the baby doll that he really is. And it's a shame. Spend some time out here with him and let him learn his boundaries. What he can and can't do. So I realize there's a lot of trust involved in this fence. He could get out of here if he really wanted. 
of the area will double for a uh, protective area for our cat. So when he needs to get away from neighborhood dogs and get away from any kind of threat. And he's a tomcat. He's a rescue. So if you see his face, he's all beat up. He's a rescue. He has some recent beat ups. He hasn't been fixed or anything. He's a tomcat and we feed him and take care of him. We take him to the vet for shots and things like that. And he gets along great with Cruz. Checking out your new surroundings, buddy. He's trying to bury the egg that I gave him in dog food because he don't want to eat it right now. <laughs>